The E in shape stands for your experiences. You know the feeling of walking in a brand new pair of sneakers? Before you put them on, they look so bright and fresh. They smell good. Well, at least they don't smell like an old wet sock. Then you put them on, lace them up, buckle them up, whatever. You stand up and take your first step. What happens? Your step is a little off. Your feet ache because they feel like they're in straight jackets. What is going on here? The new shoes are too new. They aren't broken in yet. Our own lives start out like a new pair of shoes. We are new and fresh and smell wonderful. <laughs> At least when we're in a clean diaper, that is. But we are completely unprepared for life. We haven't yet been trained for the trials ahead. And that is the very reason God allows us to test life and learn from the good times and the hard times. Those trials and bumps and joys and pains are the experiences that help to shape us and make us who we are. God is more interested in our character than he is in our comfort. He has his eye on the person we are becoming. What's even more amazing is that our experiences can be used to pass wisdom on to others. Have you or someone you love ever experienced a long and difficult illness? If you have, then the knowledge you gain from that experience can be helpful to someone else who is just beginning that difficult journey. Do you have siblings? Let me clarify. Do you have brothers or sisters who bug you, tease you, pick on you, torment you, break your toys? Well, guess what? Your experience with learning to patiently love them through those challenging times has prepared you to help someone else deal with a difficult relationship in their own life. Your experiences are the events in your life, moments that have helped to teach you and shape you into the person that God wants you to be. Think about what you've encountered in your life. Pray for guidance from God on how to use those experiences to honor Him and to love others. Hi guys, welcome back to Ask Pastor Steve, where you ask the questions and I give the answers. I have your questions right here, so let's take a look and see what's on your mind today. Question number one. Here we go. What did you like to do when you were a kid? Oh, when I was a kid, I used to, I used to watch uh, TV shows and then I would go outside and pretend that I was the main character. I loved doing that. I still do that sometimes. But don't tell anybody. Question number two. Do you get to travel often? Yeah, I get to travel some. I love going around the world, especially to our other campuses. Buenos Aires and Hong Kong and Manila and Berlin. I love being with those guys. Question number three. Next question comes from Alyssa. When did you become a Christian? Alyssa, I became a Christian when I was about seven years old. That's when I prayed and asked Jesus to be the boss of my life. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for what we call the lightning round. The lightning round. Here we go. Josh B wants to know, when did you decide to get baptized? When I was seven years old. Was your father a pastor? Yes, Summer, he was. Have you ever broken a bone? Yep, I've broken a collarbone, a finger or two, just your basic stuff. How many baptisms have you done? <whistles> hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. A lot. Have you ever met someone popular? Hmm, I met Rick Warren. Do you get paid for what you do? <laughs> Yes, Joshua, I'm very fortunate. I do get paid for what I do. Do you have a brother? Nope. Sorry, Drew. I actually have four sisters. Christiana wants to know, did you work for any other church before coming to Saddleback? Yep, I sure did. We used to work at a church in Chicago, Illinois. Have you ever kissed a turtle? If God loves all of us so much, 
Why does he allow bad things to happen to us? Wow, Ashley, that's a really good question. And you know, that question ties right into what I want you guys to understand today. God doesn't make bad things happen in your life, but bad things do happen to all of us because we live in a broken world. We live in a world full of sin. And because of that, there will be some tough times. But those tough times that we go through, no matter what it is, God's always there with us. We've been talking about our shape. S-H-A-P-E. Say it with me, shape. The S, spiritual gifts. The H is your heart, the things you're passionate about. The A, your abilities. The P is your unique personality. And lastly, we have the E, which is your experiences. All of us have both good and bad experiences in our life, but those experiences happen for a reason. And we can use those experiences to be a blessing to other people. You see, it says in Romans 8, 28, all that happens to us is working for our good if we love God. All those experiences that we have in our life, guys, whether they're good experiences or bad experiences, God uses those to teach us things. God uses those to build character in our life so that we can help other people who go through something similar. It's all a part of how God shapes us. Yeah, it's unfortunate that bad things do happen. And I don't have an answer for why they happen. I just know that we live in a messed up world and there is sin and there are bad things around us. And I don't know why we have to experience the hurts that we do. Some of you guys have felt the pain of divorce in your family. Some of you have seen a loved one pass away. Some of you have been picked on before, you've been bullied. Some of you have felt alone. We all have experiences, both bad and good. There was a question asked, did I work at a church before Saddleback? And the answer was yes, I did. When I moved from our church in Chicago, I knew how to work with my kids when they had to change schools and meet new friends because I had to do that when I was a kid. My dad was a pastor. I had to meet new people and started a new school, but those experiences helped to shape me. So when God said it's time to go to Saddleback and we moved from Chicago, I was able to help my sons. God has something special for you to do. And all of these things, your spiritual gifts, your heart, your abilities, your personality, and your experiences all contribute to you being the very special and unique you that God wants you to be. But don't fall into comparing yourself to somebody else. Don't be afraid to be the person that God's created you to be. Don't get caught up in comparing yourself to somebody else and wishing that you had their life. You be the person God created you to be. And if you are, if you will do that, you'll experience joy and God will be able to use you to do that very special thing he's put you here on earth to do. Guys, I love you. Look forward to seeing you again. Take care. For thousands of years, people have looked up to the stars and wondered what's beyond. Thoughts of distant galaxies, strange planets, and possibly even life unlike any we've known on Earth. But no one could have ever imagined in the deep expanse of our universe lives one furry creature with four legs and a jetpack. Bah. His name is Space Goat, and he's here to help you. And he's here to help us. Here to help us answer life's toughest questions. What does the P in shape stand for? Is it pasta? Is it personality? Or is it Pokemon? That is correct. The P in shape stands for personality. Well done, cadets. Which of these describes your personality? I am quiet and shy. I am great at skateboarding. Or I am Groot. That is correct. I am quiet and shy best describes your personality. 
Well done, cadets. Which personality type can God use? Quiet and shy people? Confident and outgoing people? Or all of the above? Spot on, cadets. All of the above is correct. God can use all personality types. Until next time, stay spacey, cadets. Challenger, go and throttle up.